Probably. <coughs> I'm working now. Anybody out there? Come again. <coughs> I'm not sure if this is going to work. This is action is required. We'll see. Go go. So welcome to Friday morning prayers. Good to be with you. Let's just take a moment to come into God's presence. We still open ourselves to Him this morning. Thank you, Jesus, that you invite us to come and be with you and to rest in you. So we rest in you this morning, trusting in you. It's a bit disconcerting because I'm not sure if it <coughs> this is working or not, but I should carry on regardless. Um, Let's begin, shall we? Nice to be able to come into the garden and do it from the garden. <clears throat> o Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only son was lifted up, that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross, and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, blessed be God for So our psalm this morning is Psalm 53. We're going to be looking at Ephesians once more, Ephesians 3. So we begin with Psalm 53. <coughs> the fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt, and their ways are vile. There is no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on the sons of men to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. Everyone has turned away. They have together become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Will the evildoers ever learn? Those who devour my people as men eat bread, and who do not call on God. There they were, overwhelmed with dread, where there was nothing to dread. God scattered the bones of those who attacked you. You put them to shame, but God despised them. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion when God restores the fortunes of his people. Let Jacob rejoice, and Israel be glad. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. Even though we know there is a God, 
we still manage to get things wrong don't we still manage to do things that aren't right with God and we need to say sorry to him so let's come together to say sorry to God this morning <coughs> become in penitence Lord have mercy on me O God in your great goodness called into the abundance of your compassion blot out my offences wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin for I acknowledge my faults and my sin is ever before me against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your gracious Spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation. My tongue shall sing of your righteousness. <clears throat> Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made, and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Uh, it's so good to know, isn't it? We can receive forgiveness when we come to God in penitence. Just praise you, Lord Jesus. Give you all the glory. So I'll read them, reading from Ephesians 3, 1 to 21. <clears throat> for this reason I Paul the prisoner of Christ Jesus for the sake of you Gentiles surely you have heard about the administration of God's grace that was given to me for you that is the mystery made known to me by revelation as I have already written briefly in reading this then you will be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to men in other generations, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit of God's holy apostles and prophets. This mystery is that through the Gospel the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel, members together of one body, and sharers together in the promise in Christ Jesus. I became a servant of this gospel by the gift of God's grace given me through the working of his power. Although I am less than the least of all, or the least of all God's people, this grace was given me to preach to the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make plain to everyone the administration of this mystery which for ages past was kept hidden in God who created all things. His intent was now through the church to manifold through the church the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms, according to his eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord, in him and through him, and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. I ask you therefore not to be discouraged because of my sufferings, for you which are your glory. For this reason I kneel before the Father, from whom his whole family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of these glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his Spirit in your inner being that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. 
and I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness, fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Truly something, isn't it? Just don't know if this is working, but should persevere. It says the current frame rate is too low. Please set the frame rate to fifteen and sixty. Whatever that means. Yeah. <clears throat> Paul begins by re reiterating that it's all about God's grace towards us. It's nothing that we have done to make us worthy. In fact, what we have done for ourselves has taken us away from God. It's all a mystery that Paul has been given some insight into along with the Apostles and Prophets. We have been blessed to be born at this time, after the mystery has been revealed through the Holy Spirit. The mystery that us Gentiles have been grafted in with the Jews into the body of Christ, and so become the inheritors of all the promises in Christ Jesus. Paul goes on to say that he is a servant of the Gospel because of God's grace towards him. He realises his unworthiness. After persecuting the early church, he sees that he is the least worthy to be chosen by God for this purpose. However, his humility makes him the perfect choice to go out to the Gentiles with the Gospel and to tell of the unsearchable riches of Christ, making plain what was once a mystery hidden in God for ages past. The intention being that the church would carry on making plain this mystery according to his eternal purpose, that through faith in Jesus Christ we may approach God with confidence and freedom. Paul then goes on to pray for the church in Ephesus. So that's our job, isn't it? To keep alive mystery of Christ and to make it known to those around us so we can only do it with God's grace and mercy so we pray for that mercy we pray for your grace Lord to make us bold help us to proclaim the gospel to those that surround us in our community we may show your love to all people. So let's pray. Lord God of love, as you come to us and give yourself for us and to us, Make us aware of your coming and your generosity, that we may rejoice in your presence and give our love to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So the refrain for our prayers today, uh, when I say, Lord have mercy, if you could respond with, Forgive us and heal us. 
Father, we give thanks for all who have enriched the church by their faith. We pray for those called to be pastors and shepherds of your flock, especially any who are being called to offer themselves for ordination at this time. We remember those who teach in Sunday schools and day schools, those who preach the word and administer the sacraments. We pray for religious communities and missionary societies, for soul friends, confessors and spiritual counsellors. Lord, have mercy. Forgive us and heal us. We ask that we may all know your forgiveness. We pray for all who are in prison, all who are locked up by guilt and remorse. We remember all who stand for justice and freedom, all who show forgiveness and help people to live in harmony. We pray for communities divided by past violence. Lord, have mercy. Forgive us and heal us. We give thanks for all who have been forgiving towards us, all who have taught us about forgiveness and love. We pray for our loved ones and friends. We pray for relationships that are marred by past sins and errors. For all who are unable to forgive and start afresh. Lord, have mercy. Forgive us and heal us. We pray for all who are being destroyed by guilt, all who are unable to accept forgiveness and be changed. We ask for your blessing upon all who are troubled by memories of the past. We remember before you friends and loved ones who are ill. We just take a moment to pray for those on our hearts. Lord, we just lift those in our prayer chain to you, ask for healing and forgiveness in their lives. Lord, have mercy, forgive us and heal us. We pray for all who are being destroyed by guilt, all who are unable to accept forgiveness and be changed. We ask for your blessing upon all who are troubled by memories of the past. We remember before you, friends and lovers. I'm sorry. Oh, I just said that. Lord. <laughs> right. We give thanks for the forgiveness of sins and the resurrection of the body. We pray for all our friends who have departed this life, that they may be numbered with your saints in glory everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Forgive us and heal us. Just to take a moment to join together in the words our Saviour taught us, the traditional version. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me once more this morning. I hope it has gone out live. I shall find out in a minute. But before we go, have our blessing. God our Father and Creator gives you his love. Christ our Saviour gives you salvation from your sin. The Holy Spirit of God gives you newness, newness of life. And the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.
well, hope you don't get too hot today. Just enjoy the sun, stay cool, and look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Love to you all. Bye.